We're going to do a brief video on Amazon stock. That's A M Z N stock. And we're looking at a daily chart here. And we've got three moving averages the 5, 20, and the blue is a 200 day moving average. And let's take a real quick look back and see what's going on with the stock. We can see back here in March of 2021 that we began to flirt with the 200 day moving average the screen moving average line here and you can see this 200 day moving average was rolling over all the way from March all the way over until April of 22 so for more than a year it it uh, took this 200 day moving average more than a year to roll over you can see that the, the uh, stock price continuously flirted with the 200 day moving average testing it over and over again and uh, bouncing back up but what's happened now around the uh january ish late december january 22 point is we broke down into a bear market in amazon so amazon stock is if is officially in a bear market but it's um, doing several things let's talk about them the first thing it's doing as you can see it broke down past the 200 day moving average and it started to distribute now that's a little unusual this whole behavior up here all above the 200 day moving average was essentially distribution you didn't have a one major spike top you had a lot of distribution around the 170 level above and below the 170 just oscillating back and forth and this was just distribution of the stock for over a year finally it broke down but you got more distribution around this 150 level and again you can see the oscillation around the 150 level all the way up to 170 and as, and as low as 135 just complete distribution people getting out of this stock you had a challenge of the 200 day moving average from the coming up from the from the bottom side and, and coming up here around March uh, of, of 2022 and then finally a tremendous bear market market where you just had a huge sell-off from about the 170 area all the way down close to 15 ish and so your your official bear market here and your serious serious bear market was right here this little portion right here the stock's trading a little weird but again we had tremendous distribution previous to this huge sell-off then we went back into another you could call a distribution it looks like distribution to me but after a huge sell-off like that um, most people are going to call this an accumulation phase I still see some people getting out of this stock the way I look at it but you see some accumulation here as well so you're just trading hands people are trying to decide what to do with this stock discount buyers are, are stepping up because it looks like a good price but a lot of other people look like they're just um, taking their losses and getting out so that went on from about May of, of 22 till the end of July -ish, where we started to get a little test of the 200 day moving average was started around here about the middle of July so you can see we started to respect the 20 day moving average we had a huge gap from $122 to about $132 and um, again respecting the 20 day this red moving average and respecting even the five day you saw very little uh, breakthroughs of the five day which is unusual until we started to approach the 200 day moving average now you can see you're getting distribution again gaps to the downside and that's what's going on today so as we look at this from for the past week and up to and including today we see the price has rallied up to the 200 day moving average in this amazon stock bounced off of it and now we're getting gaps back down now it's not going to be unusual to see this gap from 122 to 132 filled so it wouldn't surprise me at all if this stock sells back down to this area this low 120s here probably in this range right here probably late august so the next couple of weeks it wouldn't surprise me at all to see a sell down there um, it's hard to say it's you can see it's um, violating the 20-day moving average right now pretty significantly it hasn't closed below it yet if it closed below it uh, today that's going to be significant but we'll have to wait and see what happens also we don't have a violation of the 20-day by the five-day moving average like we had here so and especially up here uh, in uh, April of 22 so we need that as well to confirm that we're going to move back down here to the 120s but as of right now we're testing the 200 day moving average we're, we're backing and filling with gaps um, and this gap right here is very uh, it's troublesome because almost always you expect a gap like that to be filled so I would say that there's a very high probability that this gap between 122 and 132 is going to get filled so if we go by history of my looking at a lot of charts not particularly this chart my opinion for entertainment purposes only is you're probably going to get a test down here the 120 
level, if for no other reason than to fill this gap. But we have to wait and see what happens. Let's take a look and see what RBAM Research says about it. RBAM Research puts out these algorithmic uh, generated entry prices every morning before 7 a.m. Let's find Amazon. Amazon, this is for today, the 22nd. Yes. So this is the price for Monday, the 22nd, Amazon. And it's uh, suggesting for entertainment purposes only take a look at buying at 136 on a one day hold and um, a five day hold to 137 and some change and a, and a 20 day hold to 137 and some change. So we can see that the price has already broken through those levels to the downside. Let's take a look. We have uh, for today, Amazon's currently trading at about 133 and uh, its range is below 136, 136.32 to 133.33. So we broke through this uh, price for buying here, this 136. And um, so what the market's doing is selling past that, and we'll see what happens. It's a classic example of why you should never rely on anybody's prices for anything. You're, gonna, you're sitting on a loss if you bought at 136. And so you have to use your own judgment. When you get a rally up this far, especially with a big gap like this, you wanna be very careful going long until this gap is filled. If the gap doesn't get filled and you get up here, that's a different question. But right here with a gap so close, it's dangerous to buy, especially as you approach the 200 day moving average. That's why we say everything on this site is for entertainment purposes only. However, it's so that, that 136 price, let's take a look at it again is a one day price. So this market may rally and you may make a profit even today on that. You may not, you may have to close it on loss. Um, again, all depends on what your own independent research says. These are for entertainment purposes only, but um, we're just getting started here trading today. So that's essentially what we do at Amazon. We come up with, these, excuse me, at uh, RBM Research. We come up with these algorithmically generated prices every morning before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. As Again, stocks are buy onlys and we have one day, five day and 20 day holding periods. Essentially, if you were to buy today, you'd close this column out after one trading day. So tomorrow, this would be five trading days. This would be 20 trading days and you'd close them out worst case at a loss at the end of those periods. And if you got a profit, you take your profits today. So if you bought today and you got a profit, you take it uh, today and so forth. You always want to take your profits when you get them and close out worst case at a loss at the end of the prescribed holding periods. Again, these are all for entertainment purposes only. And you have to have your own research uh, and just rely on ours for entertainment and for uh, uh, the curiosity sake of looking, seeing what we think about it. Let's take a look down here. You can get all these every morning before 7 a.m. Absolutely free, no credit card required at rbamresearch.com. We cover 190 stocks. We cover the major Forex pairs. We cover BCT on crypto and the major most liquid futures contracts. They're all available before 7 a.m. at rbamresearch.com. That's rbamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. If you like this video, please push the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. And if you have a way for us to improve this, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Keep in mind, everything you've heard and seen is for entertainment purposes only, all for uh, opinion. It's all our opinion only, and you definitely trade at your own risk.